that is a film. With something like the Holger, you rely a lot more on intuition and really just trusting in the process. It's a very kind of Zen way of photography. Capturing images to reflect the soul of his native Hong Kong, veteran journalist Liam Fitzpatrick puts his trust in an unpredictable friend. The Holga 120 uses analog film and a plastic body and lens to snap images that stand out in a digital world. Vignetting, which is a, a darkening at the edges of the image, uh, which sort of frames your image in a peculiar and, and sort of different kind of way. There's also edge blur, which means that the outer sections of the image will be out of focus, which is underscored often by there's a softness in the center of the picture too. The body of the Holger is not particularly secure, so just during normal use, light will leak into the body and onto the film and kind of play havoc in many cases with the results. There's a certain ineffable and ethereal quality to it that people can't quite define, but they know it when they see it. Today, the camera is in the hands of more than a million photographers around the world, including professionals like David Burnett, who used his Holga to snap this award-winning photo of U.S. presidential candidate Al Gore. The Hong Kong company that makes the Holga sells at least 200,000 each year in various colors and formats. But when the camera was first introduced 30 years ago, it seemed destined to fail. Lee Ting Mo had designed the Holga to help his company compete with Japanese-made cameras, which came with built-in flash units. There were about 30 factories making the flash units, but uh, they closed one after another. We had to, to find out some way to exist because we have no precision machine. We cannot make high-class camera, but we can only make the simple camera, plastic camera. Mr. Lee tried to attract Chinese mainland consumers with his cheap 120mm film camera, even adapting its name from the Chinese words for very bright to showcase Holga's built-in flash. Mainland buyers, though, preferred overseas brands, and the company nearly shelved the product until it proved a hit among Austrian photographers. They made the exhibition, the reaction, the re reaction was the same. Wow, they found it uh, very, very special. <laughs> Over the past 30 years, Holga's legion of fans has only grown. Today, there is a range of models in various colors, styles, and formats. The company also takes its brand further abroad with Holga Inspire, the website and series of touring exhibitions providing an evolving forum for Holga users to show off their best shots. We encourage people to take more photos with Holga and then submit their work to the photo contest. So even we are from Hong Kong company, we are Hong Kong based, but still we are well connected overseas. Communication is very important. I believe every opportunity comes from a relationship. Through my collaboration with photographers, we build up strong relationships. And in the meantime, it's great to collect their feedbacks and then keep improving. Holga is even finding ways to make its deliberately analog heritage click with digital users. This attachment for the iPhone, for example, has a series of lenses you can rotate through to create the same sort of surprising effects you'll get in their film cameras. The Hong Kong company sold 30,000 of these in the first four months it was on the market. Holga Effect lenses are also available for mainstream single-lens reflex cameras as the company looks to the future without giving up its past. Our camera using the film, but today there is no more world film in the market. So our film camera will also suffer the same. So I must find out some way to make our product still alive. One thing about the Holger that's important to me as a Hong Kong person is just how Hong Kong a camera it is. And what I mean by that is that it was created at a time of adversity by the Holger company. They needed a product to sell. They rushed this thing out in this very kind of can-do and very sort of Hong Kong way. For surviving, we must do our best. Otherwise, I think in this way, you must work hard and think everything possible, of course. We also must be practical.